Last night, our I-team got this fax from a Scientology lawyer. She claimed we would violate a court order if we aired information such as that you're about to hear. Another warning letter went to the Peter Boyle Show. Still another went to the Washington Post. Scientology is very concerned about interviews our Nine News I-team did with this man, Larry Wollersheim. They don't want the public to hear things like this. When you go into their secret levels of what goes on in their secret initiations, uh, to anyone who ever sees this stuff, it becomes very obvious that this is an occult, satanic, or black magic secret society. Wollersheim is a former church member who's waged a 15-year war against Scientology. He won a multi-million dollar outrageous conduct lawsuit against the church, a judgment that went all the way to the Supreme Court, but still hasn't been paid. On Tuesday, Scientology members, accompanied by armed U.S. Marshals, staged search warrant raids on the homes of Wollersheim and another former church member, Robert Penny. Wollersheim and others have been using the Internet to distribute secret documents from the church. The church says those documents are trade secrets. Some publications like this one have already discussed a number of the details. The secrets Scientology is trying to protect involve their belief that we are all aliens brought here from outer space 75 million years ago. By paying large sums of money to the church, up to a quarter million dollars per person, converts can learn all of these Scientology secrets. The biggest legal question right now involves the raids on Tuesday. An attorney for Wollersheim says raiding someone's home to recover copyrighted material sets an extremely dangerous precedent. The general public should be concerned when a federal judge orders guys with guns to go to your house based on the word of your worst enemy that you have something that belongs to him or her. Uh, it could happen to anybody. Kareen Powell from Los Angeles is the church official sent here to handle the controversy. Last night she refused to talk to us about Scientology's specific beliefs. She said she refused to dignify the ravings of what she called a mental patient like Larry Wollersheim.